Hi, my name's Anthony and I'm from Spark in the Dark Electrics and you're on the online prosperity show with Prosper and I'll be talking to you about cost saving options for your uh, electricity bills at your business or your home. Welcome to yet another exciting episode of the Online Prosperity Show. And today we've got the energy man himself. Anthony, how's it going, my man? Good, Prosper. How are you? Fantastic. Anthony, thank you so much for uh, spending time with us today. Now, Anthony is a uh, sparky by trade, and he basically helps um, businesses, homes, or entrepreneurs like yourself to actually save and conserve on their energy bills. You know, when you're starting a business or when you're running a business, you really want to keep all costs at bay. And some of the things that we run or some of the things that we do within our, our business actually escalates the electric bill and you don't want to have, you know, nasty surprises at the end. So Anthony is here to just, you know, give us a little bit of tidbits of what he does for work, how he helps other entrepreneurs to actually um, save money while they're actually enjoying what they do. Thank you so much for taking your time there, Anthony. No worries. Anytime. Yeah. Uh, I mean, look, with electrical, with power in a business or a home or wherever that you're going to have your power, especially in businesses, there's so many things that are on for a long period of time. There's so many businesses that even have lighting and power operating while they're not actually open. So you'll see a lot of shop fronts and stuff like that, that will have lights to display cabinets and things like that. So it's essential to try and get the best lighting at the most cost efficient price. Uh, so it's something that unfortunately there's a lot of businesses that don't do it because the out, the initial outlay is quite expensive. Um, but in the long run it is well worth it. And that's where people don't really see it. Uh, obviously having my own business, I run my business from my house. So I have that same type of thing where I've got my office, I've got my garage, I've got all that type of stuff. And, and I've learned from other people's businesses when they have trades or whatever business it is, you're going to have maybe another thing like a factory. So I think it's, it's crucial to, to learn about the cost efficient ways of saving money in your business. Understandable. Because uh, and um, the main thing is, and a lot of people have heard about it, is uh, th there's many ways you can save with, um, with electricity. So everyone talks about solar paneling. Now, solar panels are fantastic uh, for your business or your home, but the outlay is very, very expensive at the start, so a lot of people do stay away from that. So... Uh, it's something that I do recommend doing, but it really depends on what your business is and how much power you're actually using and all that type of stuff to see what the, your long run, you know, the, the savings you'll get in the long term. Uh, a second option is timer switches, especially for businesses, having lighting on the, on the boundaries of your business uh, where you only have your lighting on during night time uh, a timer switch is crucial unfortunately some people have their lights on all day which is crazy so that would be something that i would recommend for businesses and entrepreneurs who who have properties property investors who have uh apartment blocks and stuff like that a lot of the times you'll go past in the day sometimes the lighting will be on which is crazy and it's a simple solution of having a timer switch. But the main thing that I'd like to talk about, which everyone should have, whether you have a home or a business, is LED lighting throughout your whole, uh, your whole um, house or business. Uh, I think it's crucial because the savings of an LED light these days now, the cost of LEDs now are nowhere near as expensive as when they first came out. And people are still using old halogen lighting, which I think is fantastic for lighting, but not so good when it comes to the power bills. Uh, and people don't understand why their power bills are so high, especially 
in seasonal times. You know, when there's summertime, you've got your air conditioner on all the time. That costs a lot of money. Winter time, you've got your heater on. So six months of your year, you're going to be spending a lot of money on your energy bills. So I would recommend putting in LED lighting, all your downlight. LED lighting for me is the number one thing that I would be doing uh, if, if I had like, not sorry, not if I had, if you have a business or a residential property that you live in or you're leasing out to somebody, I think that LED lighting is definitely the number one thing to cut costs. Basically, to put it in a nutshell, most of the lighting that you would have in your house that could be that would be halogen, uh, you could buy an LED. You could buy three to four LED lights that consume the same power. Sometimes even five. Uh, that's a big difference. If you could get like like three to five light fittings that consume the same power as one in a house or a business, you're cutting your costs dramatically. So uh, it's, at the moment, I think it's well worth it because it's, uh, it's a lot cheaper to get LED lighting. But a lot of people are worried because it is more expensive than what they have now to install it. But in the long run, the savings are very, very high. So it's something that, uh, that I've done in my house uh, and I always tell people, all of my all of my clients, I always tell them that it's the best solution to save money on your energy bill. Things like heaters and air conditioners are very difficult to cut down because uh, they always draw a lot of power. Uh, or same as kettles uh, and kitchen appliances and ovens and stuff like that. That type of stuff. Uh, when it comes to energy saving, it's just a matter of of um, really the usage that you use on them. You can't really get around that. Whereas lighting, there is there are options and switching options as well. You don't have to have every single light fitting on one switch. Sometimes mm. you can change it up and have a fair, like different switches uh, and little process that can be changed at your light switch could save you a lot in the long term. Many times I'll go to someone's house and they'll have heat, uh, an abundance of lighting on one switch and they're like, oh, we don't really use that area and you're putting lighting on for no reason. Uh, same as businesses, mm. exactly like businesses. Um, it, uh, with businesses, one really good thing with lighting is having sensor lights put in. So okay. certain rooms uh, certain rooms are activated only when people walk into them. Uh, there's no point having toilets and kitchen areas with lights on all day when you can simply get a sensor light, which will detect the motion of someone walking into that room. And then once they've left after several seconds or minutes, the light will go off. Mm, it's, okay. uh, there's a lot of businesses that do have that, but there's a lot that don't. Great so. stuff. Okay. So look at this. I'm just uh, having a scenario of my own little um office here but i think other people that have bigger offices would would also have the same question computers yep. monitors uh printer um maybe the tv and a dvd player in the home yeah, microwaves, microwaves. Did they actually they use actually electricity use when they turned off when they turned off uh yes if the if the power board is on Yes, they will draw some power. Some businesses do have, uh, they do keep their things on overnight, but there's, there's always the sleep function on printers that you can use. Uh, also, in an office that is quite, I guess, quite congested with a lot of equipment, you can get surge power boards. So you can just switch, have one switch turn off and it'll switch everything off and everything on at once. Uh, it's also a thing that not only do I recommend, but I think it's a must have for computers and stuff like that uh, and TVs. A lot of businesses have TVs. I would recommend putting everything on surge protection uh, for two reasons. First of all, for the damage of equipment and also there's a lot of companies uh, out there 
that have a clause saying that if you don't have a surge protection device on your computer or your TV or whatever it may be, that uh, basically if, some, if there is a surge, uh, if there's lightning striking or something like that in your property or business, that you won't be refunded under any warranty throughout your insurance. So that's something that I would definitely recommend people to do. Uh, but again, a lot of people won't go through that process because of the costs, but in the long run, and if there's, it's just like putting insurance on your car or life insurance for yourself. It's the same. I mean, obviously it's probably not as crucial, but for business it can be. And a lot of people disregard it because they think, Oh, it's okay. It'll never happen. Yeah. Well, it could. <laughs> Great stuff. So you know, there's a will be the way. All right, understandable. So obviously somebody would have been watching this and very intrigued about, you know, how they can be um, an energy saving or an energy efficient household or business. How can people get a hold of you there, Anthony? Oh, it's pretty easy. There's a lot of options. There's, you can either contact me through Instagram, Facebook, uh, or my mobile phone number. Uh, I can plug them if you like. <laughs> um, yeah. It's it in this day and age, you need to be on everything really to, for people to get through to you. So yeah, I have all of that stuff. That that, being on everything, Anthony, it wastes energy because you need to be constantly (laughs) checking your news feeds. That's, that is true. It does, it does take a lot, but in saying that there's, I speak to a lot of clients through that during the day and nighttime and it's the most convenient way. And, and yeah, that's, I guess that's what you have to do these days or else you, you won't evolve, I guess. Understandable. So obviously I will put in all your contact details. Um, at Fantastic. The bottom. And obviously if you've been watching this and you're an entrepreneur and you don't realize where all your money is going, just check your electricity bill, check your gas bill. Those are the things that could be siphoning money out of your business without you realizing because energy is not free. You know what I mean? The, all the energy that you're using, the electricity that you're using, if you're wasting it, if you ace, waste that energy, you're also wasting money. And you know that's not a Absolutely. good idea for when you're starting your business. All right. So if you've been watching this and you've learned a thing or two, I'll get you all the details um, so that you can be in touch with Anthony and he can help you have a business that's uh, profitable and energy efficient. All right. Because wasting energy isn't good even for your business and even for the environment. So most of these uh, energy sources that we're using, they're still using coal and natural gas, and that cannot be replaced. Once you use them up, they're gone forever, just like the money in your pocket. So you want to keep it, you want to keep more of it in your pocket than outside. And people like Anthony, I will be bringing them onto the show so that they can help you actually see where the little uh, loopholes are for your business. Anthony, thank you so much for lighting us up today. No worries. It's my pleasure. Thanks for having me on the show, Prosper. Great stuff. Stuff. Yeah, because us entrepreneurs, we like burning the midnight oil, right? Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. 